government says this is a much needed major reform. They say it will benefit uh, the Indian youth. These protesters are protesting unnecessarily because they don't have the right information. It says that army aspirants in the long run will uh, benefit. So my question to you first, um, uh, uh, we'll, uh, let's go across to all of our guests one after the other. Let's go uh, Air Commodore uh, Behel. Is this true? Or has this coveted profession been reduced to a joke? See, first of all, I, I will accept that there are major reforms required in our recruitment process so as to reduce our pension budget, which occupies close to 22 to 25 percent of our total defense budget, which is about 5 uh, lakhs 25,000 crores. But it is, it is still a very large percentage and there is less funds available for capital budget, which means that modernization of the forces suffers, especially the high technology equipment is very costly. Now, just to give you an example, an aircraft today, even an ordinary third generation or fourth generation aircraft costs around anywhere from 300 to 500 crores. So we need money. So that is one. Second is youth profile. We want to reduce it from 32 years to 26 years. So that also sounds lo logical. And then there are certain amount of population which wants to come to the armed forces for the adventure part. And they, would, they should have an opportunity to come. But I have uh, the way that it has been implemented. I have issues with that. A, wider consultations were needed. Whether all the stakeholders were consulted or not and how deeply they were consulted and if they were consulted, were the youth consulted, were the opposition parties consulted, was the draft put up in public and, and asked for inputs. I really don't think all this has happened because of which there are so many, uh, you know, revisions that keep coming up. I may not say revisions, additions. Every day there is a new statement, 10%. Or uh, people from CAPF, from Assam Rifles, from defense related PSUs. But I would like to put one point across that for highly technologically advanced Air Force, such as the Indian Air Force, the people in the technical trades barely learn their job in three to four years. So if you're going to just be a transition machinery where you, where you pick up people from, uh, you know, street, turn them into engine, in, uh, engine or instrument or electrical specialists. By the time you make them specialists and they can repair aircraft or do 50 hours, 100 hours, 400 hours servicing, they are already back to the street. And what use there will be in Assam rifles, I'm not so sure. What use there will be in, in a defense related, you know, uh, central uh, armed police forces, I don't know. Maybe yes, HAL, yes. But how many can HAL absorb? And what is the percentage? How is the process going to be done? Whether they will get four years seniority or not? There are more questions to be answered before we okay. have gone in for recruitment. So we are just jumped in without thinking of the consequences. We would have, we should have thought of the consequences and why this magic figure of four years and why not any other mm. figure that has not been explained very well.